Trump challenger Joe Walsh claims he lost his conservative radio show after launching his 2020 bid, and hints it could be because most of my listeners support the president. He wall dropped the bombshell that he'd lost his nationally syndicated radio talk show during a Monday night CNN interview with Ancho John Berman. The former Tea Party announced on Sunday that he would compete against Trump for the GOP primary. Wall told Berman that 80 to 90 percent of his audience supports the president and that he knew. Losing his show was a strong possibility if he ran some Twitter users declared support for Walsh's campaign on Monday, but many pro and anti-Trump individuals criticized him for past use of racial slurs we Chancey Alcorn for DailyMail.com published 606 British Summertime, the 27th of August 2019, updated 644 British Summertime, the 27th of August 2019 roughly 24 hours after officially announcing his bid to primary Donald Trump for the GOP nomination in 2020. Former Congressman Joe Walsh said he had lost his nationally syndicated talk radio show. The right-wing fire brand broke the news about his apparent employment termination during a Monday night interview with CNN anchor John Berman, who was filling in for Anderson Cooper. I just found out that I lost my national radio show, so, so that's gone, but I figured that might happen, John Walsh told Berman. Conservative talk radio host Joe Walsh announced he was running for president against Donald Trump on Sunday before losing his job a day later. No, you lost it. Why? Berman interrupted. I don't know why, Walsh replied. I just got a notice before I came in the studio. Walsh also noted that 80 to 90 percent of his audience supports Trump. I'm running for president. I oppose this president. Most of my listeners support the president, he said. It's not an easy thing to do to be in conservative talk radio and oppose this president. I knew that, John, when I made the announcement yesterday that it could be in jeopardy, so no more radio show it all for you, Berman asked. Walsh dropped the bombshell that he'd lost his nationally syndicated radio talk show during a Monday night CNN interview with anchor John Berman. Walsh told Berman that 80 to 90 percent of his audience supports Trump pictured and that he knew losing his show was a strong possibility if he ran for president. No more radio show, but that's OK, Walsh responded. I'm going to campaign full time. This was a difficult thing to do, yes, but I believe it's urgent because this president is a danger. We cannot let Trump get elected for another four years. Walsh has some supporters for his campaign on social media, but his recent misfortune didn't turn him. Much sympathy from Twitter users on either side of the pro and anti-Trump political spectrum, who took issue with his past use of racial slurs. After his CNN appearance, Walsh tweeted that he's running for president against a sexual predator, a serial liar, a malignant narcissist, an obstructor of justice, a psychopath, a betrayer of this nation's interests, a bigot, an incompetent boob, and a failed businessman. And I'm getting attacked for some offensive mascot in 2014 and for threatening former President Barack Obama after several Dallas police officers were massacred by a Black Lives Matter supporter in 2016. You mean tweets like these, replied attorney Will Chamberlain who added screenshots of Walsh's previous vitriol. At least one Trump supporters disparaged Walsh for the same reasons, but also characterized him as an opportunist obsessed with taking down the controversial commander-in-chief, you. Well, you know what mainstream media would do to him. And you want to pass, Twitter user Eugene McCarthy said in another reply. Since you're gonna sling mud all day, don't be shocked if someone picks a bit of it up. It's with his entire campaign being focused on bashing Trump as opposed to innovative solutions, policies and economic growth, Trump yields results, she added, all this guy does is be asterisk tch, let's block ads.